Welcome back. Scientists at the Fleischmann Planetarium right here in Reno are staying pretty busy testing for rocks and testing for meteorites. I would never think I had one. I would never know. I, they all look the same to me, I thought. Right? But apparently a lot of people think they do have a meteorite. And now you can feel free to set up an appointment and get your rock tested. Angela Schilling stopped by the Fleischmann Planetarium today to learn more about the rock testing process and the chances of actually finding one. Here we have the Quinn Canyon meteorite, but it's not the only one found in northern Nevada. Today we were able to test a few to see if they pass the test. Filing and measuring density are part of the process. Some of them are meteorites and some of them are what we call meteor wrongs. It has to be smooth and round with no holes, sharp edges or veins. The first thing they do is a visual inspection. From that we can usually tell if something is not a meteorite. Is the rock dark? Is it smooth? The last step is to do a nickel test. But this has no nickel in it, so I'm going to tell you, I'm sorry, Garrett, that this is likely not a meteorite. It's very much the, the metal. Garrett Barmore works for the Keck part. Museum on the University of Nevada campus. What we can learn from these meteorites. Today he brought a couple the museum had collected to see if they came from space. Kind of the outside gets melted in these aerodynamic shapes. So the planetarium the says the rocks they test can be found it, by almost uh, anyone. A couple weeks ago a woman that found one near the top of a tree and that was exciting because what a weird place to find a meteorite. A few weeks before that we had a kid maybe like 10 years old that found one um, brought in with his family and that was super exciting. Well one of Barmore's rocks is probably not a meteorite. The second one he brought in was hard to test. Nothing. That's a good sign. So results came back inconclusive. I usually tell people if you think it might be a meteorite, that's the coolest thing about it. It's just a good story. And a great way to learn about science. The purpose of the experiment is not to guarantee you have a meteorite, but it is to either disqualify the rock or to require further testing. Covering the story, Angela Schilling, Channel 2 News. And the planetarium says they don't find confirmed meteorites very often. They've only seen about a handful in the last decade.